Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just giving you an update on Hurricane Michael. The death toll is up to 11. You can expect that to rise with so many people not evacuating. And the picture that you see on the screen, that is Mexico Beach, Florida. And as you can see, there's not a house down there that's not damaged. It's unbelievable the way it looks. And the people that are from that area are getting a warning from FEMA. This came out October 12, 2018. Today, Florida's Bay County, Mexico Beach, unsafe to return. And it's going to be a long time. So FEMA is letting the people know in that area, they may not be able to come back in there for a very long time. When you have that kind of widespread damage, I can tell you it may take a good decade before they get that area back up to where it should be. Puerto Rico is a good example. They've been struggling since Hurricane Irma and they're not anywhere close to rebuilding Puerto Rico. It is still in shambles. So these situations, you just don't bounce back right away. So they are letting people know down there what's to come. So they're saying emergency teams are focused on restoring communication and transportation. And the Federal Emergency Management Agency said debris and storm devastation in some areas prevent a safe return yet. You know, chances are many of these people are going to come back to nothing. And all of those beach, uh, beachfront homes probably all got swept out to sea. That same thing happened during Sandy. Those homes, there was no trace of them anymore because they went right in the ocean. So, ladies and gentlemen, all I can do is pray for the people down there, but many of them have no choice but to relocate at this point. They said the power is still out. Um, gas lines are shut down. Cell phones don't have any service, so they can't get any signal on their cell phones. And it, it's just a mess. It's just a mess. Like I said, I, I wouldn't wish this on anybody. Even if your house did survive, it still would be difficult to stay down there because so many businesses are gone. And still you're dealing with the situation with no power, no phones. Chances are grocery stores were destroyed. You got to take all of that into consideration. And not only that, it's unsafe and it's unsanitary down there now with all of that debris and down power lines and everything. It's just not safe. You know, like I said, we've seen so much devastation over these past years, and it just seems to be getting worse and worse. And the hurricanes are getting more fierce than the last one you saw. I was reading that North Carolina has gotten more water on top of the sitting flood water that was already there. So when Michael went through, it made a situation worse. So ladies and gentlemen, please tell me what you think. I think the worst parts that I have seen is Mexico Beach and Panama City. Both of those are, it is just more homes that I saw damaged than intact. And they said even the ones that look like they're intact, the windows are blown all the way out and the doors are missing. So you know, you really got to take a close look. They're not in good shape, even if they're standing. It, it's still a lot of damage. And I was also reading in North Carolina, people are now getting swarms of mosquitoes around their house and in their house. They're getting swarms. That's how bad the mosquitoes are. Can you imagine being in your house in a swarm 
of mosquitoes are in there. I, I tell you what. What these people are going through, I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I will see you on the next video. Peace, family.